If you would like to find out how to turn this into this, stick around and I'll show you how to create this uh, cool panel for your screen door. And you can use this technique on more than just a screen door. You can make panels, 3D panels like this for uh, cabinet doors, for example. Uh, for windows is another example. So this technique you'll be able to use for several different applications. Stick around and see what I can show you. This is the screen door to the main entrance of our house. And I have a bit of a problem here because the actual screen gets knocked down quite a bit. Our dog recently learned how to knock, so when he wants to come in from the outside, he, he uses his paws and, and scratches on this, ripping the screen, uh, rendering it ineffective. Several times a year I need, to, I need to replace the screen itself, and even more often I need to fix it up uh, just for it to work. In order to fix this problem, what I came up with is to create a backing board made out of plywood. Um, and it's not, it will not be just a board, I want to make it a little bit more creative to add some character to the house. So the first thing that we have to do is um, I will remove uh, the entire screen, all the door hardware so that it's easier for me to, to work with the door. We are saving everything because we will be reusing all, this, all these parts, they do not have to be replaced. Our first challenge will be to reproduce this groove in order to hold the screen and we will have to place it right over here. I don't have a multi-cutter plane so in order to make this groove we'll try to use the table saw. Here is the scrap and here is the groove that I made in it. We will see if a single pass of the table saw will be enough to put this uh, retainer spline inside of it. And this tool, I think is just called the screen tool, it is really great for fitting the spline into the groove. So it's pretty tight but I think it's gonna work just right. I will now need to make this groove here right on the door and I want to make it right in the upper third of this board over here so that I have enough room for the plywood that will go right um, over here so I have enough room for a secure attachment of it. That worked out pretty good, it's not perfect. It will do what we need it to do. We didn't go all the way through to the edges of the door, but far enough to meet right over here with the vertical. I have some leftover plywood here, and I think it's either 3 8 or a quarter inch thick. So it's very thin plywood, but it will work out very good for what I want to do because I will be layering this pl uh, plywood in order to make a scene, a mountain scene, uh, to make this a little bit more creative. I don't have my skill saw handy, so unfortunately I will have to make the majority of these cuts on the table saw, which is not ideal. Uh, ideally, these would be cut on a skill, with a skill saw. So we'll need to measure out how big of a piece we will need, and I wanted to um, to be secured pretty good on these uh, side boards, on these edge boards of the screen door. For now, I will, I will secure the plywood to the screen door with some finishing nails. Even this looks pretty good now. I think it is a vast improvement over the screen itself and this would work as well. But I do want to get a little bit fancier and what I will do is create a little mountain scene and it will be layered. So I will first draw it right on the board here and it will be freehand 
and we'll see how it comes up. Something very simple, you don't want to get too creative because it will uh, take a lot of cutting with the jigsaw to get this done. But essentially what we'll have here is, is a three-dimensional three -dimensional layering of plywood to create this. So we will start from the deepest, the farthest away uh, scene, which is this mountain right here, and we'll call this one. So we will cut this piece first, and it will be first attached to the board. Then we will cut this second piece, the second mountain, we'll call it two. And then finally, we will cut the trees and this ground right over here. And we'll call that three. The best way to do this is to cut several strips of plywood that will fit right into this opening here. And then we will retrace our scene onto these strips and cut them out with the jigsaw. I'm just marking where we're going to start, where we're going to end, and where the peak is going to be. And I'll try to reproduce it same way as I have it here. I will be using a jigsaw to make all these cuts, but if you don't have a jigsaw, you can also use a coping saw. Coping saws are pretty inexpensive. You can get one for 10 to 20 bucks at your local hardware store. So here it is, our first mount. screen door back on the table here and we'll see how it all fits together. So as you remember this is the original drawing I made and here are the cutoffs. Of course, the final product will need some sanding. We want to get rid of all these, all these um, pencil lines. Um, and then I think I'll put a little piece of plywood right underneath the tree here so that it will not be easily broken. And I think that perhaps staining it in different colors, um, or at least alternating colors, would add more depth to the entire scene as well.
decided to stop and film a little bit here because this is a very critical moment. If I continued to cut like I did before, sort of haphazardly without clamps and, and stuff like that, I risk of damaging both of these pieces. Both of the, these uh, parts that I cut out already uh, would very likely break apart due to the vibrations. So what I did here is I placed my table saw and when I built this bench here, um, I built it the same height as the table saw and that was on purpose. So I can do exactly uh, this right here. So this table saw is uh, essentially an extension of my, of my workbench. So I clamped it down and now I'll be able to get in between uh, these uh, little finer um, details of the carving uh, to do what I need to do. We have our second set of cutouts now, so let's see how this whole thing will fit together. So we need to be wary that this mountain and this mountain fits along with this one, so it, uh, so it looks like it's seamless. So that looks pretty good. And again, I will have to put two pieces of plywood underneath uh, this tree so that um, it will not be that fragile. What I decided to do is to cut another <clears throat> piece of plywood so that I can do two things with it. First of all, this side of the plywood was very dirty and I, and I really didn't want to uh, spend time cleaning it up, um, sanding it and so on and so forth. And the other piece will serve a second purpose and that is I only have uh, a certain thickness of finishing nail and with four pieces of plywood the nail went through. With five pieces of, uh, of plywood 60 psi on my um, air compressor the nail was uh, doing fine and I don't want to use anything else on this except for finishing nails. Now we will glue up our pieces And I did forget something. First of all, I didn't clean these cuts here, and I should. Um, and second of all, I forgot to cut the little pieces that will go underneath the trees to hold them. So let's do that real quick. Here I have two levels to go to, so I need to take two pieces of support and glue them together. So the goof up that I did here earlier actually turned out pretty good because what that made me realize that I would want to make a different tone of stain between different levels to give it even more of a dramatic 3D feel. So I will definitely be doing that. 
and I probably should have done that before I glued everything together, painted the different levels, would have been easier and not as messy. But uh, that's okay, this is real world and things happen. So we will, uh, we will work with what we have. I don't have my large clamps with me, so unfortunately I will have to put a few nails here on the top of everything. I hope you are enjoying the video so far, but it is running pretty long, so the staining and hanging of the door is in part 2 of this tutorial. If you are enjoying this type of content, please subscribe and share. Thank you and God bless.